In this video we're going to look at changing odds to probabilities. Okay? So we'll do is example 14, 15, 16. Now, first thing I want you to do is can you remember what is probability? What is what are odds in favor and what are odds against in general? Thinking about number of successes or number of favorable outcomes, however you like to put it. Okay, so we could think of odds probability as number of favorable outcomes, or you could think of it as number of successes or favorable outcomes over the total, right? Total number of outcomes, right? And um, odds in favor, what did we do for that? Number of favorable against a uh, number of unfavorable, or you could say number of successes to number of failures, right? Or number of no, number of favorable to number of unfavorable, whichever you want to write it. And what about odds against? Was number of failures to number of successes, right? And of course, total is successes plus failures, isn't it? Right? So, if we're given odds in favor of a team winning the game are 5 to 4, what does that mean? Odds in favor means that their number of successes would be 5 to their number of failures would be four, right? Five to four. In other words, if they played nine games, they would have five successes and four failures, right? Against this particular other team, right? What are the odds against the team win winning? Odds against, write that down. So odds against is, is failures to successes. So if they played nine games, they would have four failures to five successes on average, right? What is the probability the team will win? Write that down. Probability is number of successes over the total, right? So number of successes over total would be what? If they played nine games, they would have five successes out of a total of nine games. Five plus four, right? So of course nine comes about by five plus four. How about what is the probability the team will lose? If their probability of winning is five over nine, what's their probability of losing? Probability of losing would be four out of nine. Okay, so losing would be, you know, the failures, four out of nine, right? So this one now, the odds against the horse winning the race are 7 to 1. What are the odds in favor of the horse winning? Press pause and do these. What's the odds in favor of the horse winning? Press pause and write that down. Now we're given the odds against, aren't we? So this is successes to failures, right? So the odds in favor, or sorry, this is, blah. if this is odds against, this is failures to successes rather, right? or unfavorable to favorable, right? So what are the odds in favor of the horse winning? Wouldn't that be 1 to 7, right? So in other words, you would have one success for every 7 failures, right? On average. So if the horse ran 8 of those races the horse would have one success, seven failures. What's the probability the horse will win? What's the probability the horse will lose? Write it down. The probability the horse will win if it it would have one success for every seven failures, right? So that would be out of every out of eight races, right? Out of eight races, they would have one success. One out of one plus seven 
or 1 over 8 is the answer there. That's the probability the horse will win. What's the probability the horse will lose the race? Probability the horse will lose if it ran si it'll have one success for every seven failures or seven failures for every one success if you want to look at it that way. But seven failures out of eight races is what we want to think about, right? That's the probability the horse will lose. Now, you might notice in the real world when they they usually give the odds as odds against actually don't they because they'll say well this horse is seven to one that horse is two to one that horse is three to one right so they're actually giving you the odds against the odds of the horse losing is what they're giving you right anyway example 16 do this one based on the global number of airline flights and the number of crashes since 1993 the odds of you dying in a single airline flight are one in 4.7 million you can go to this website to check that out if you want what is the probability you will die in a single airline flight? What this means is, if you're to get on a plane and go from one city to the other city, one airport to the other airport, the probability you will die in that flight, the airline flight, now not, not, we're not talking about private planes, we're just talking about actual commercial passenger planes. The probability you will die in a passenger plane is 1 in 4.7 million. Uh, uh, that the odds, sorry, the odds you will die. The odds you will die is 1, point, 1 in 4.7 million. You need to calculate the probability you will die in a single airline flight. Press pause and do that. Okay, did you press pause and do it? So, I'll help you now. The odds of dying are 1 to 4.7 million. In other words, you would have to take, in other words, in other words, um, success is dying, right? If you want to think of it that way. Um, and that's 1 in, or 1, 2, 4.7 million is 4, 700,000, right? That's 1 to 4.7 million, right? So, for if you took, um, for every one death, you would have this many flights where you would live, right? Here's a flight you would die on, here's a flight you would live on. So, what it means is, this would be, uh, this is die, this is live, okay? All right, and this is kind of like success, actually, if you want to think of it that way, and this is failure. Failure is living, and success is dying, in this case, right? So, the odds of you dying, the odds of the event happening that you die, right? Anyway, kind of funny, in a way. So, um, probability is going to be what? The number of successes, right, or the number of deaths, number of, of times you would die, over the total number of flights. What does that give you? So what it's saying is that for every one flight that you die on, you'd have 4.7 million flights where you'd live on. So if you took, what it's saying is if you took 4 million 701 flights on one of them you die, right? So that's the probability as a fraction. Let's get that as a decimal and percentage just to see how small that number is. So this is the probability. Now we're going to just get it as a decimal and a percentage to see how small the number is. 1 divided by 470000. Okay, 0 0.123456 zeros uh, uh, and then 213. And what's that as a percentage? Change that decimal to a percentage. Let me just count those zeros. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros and then 213. Okay. So as a percentage, move the decimal point one, few spaces to the right, and now you only have four zeros. Point zero 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 two one three percent. It's such a small number, we have a hard time even trying to write it. Okay.